Hello again. In this vlog, I'm taking you with me on my trip to London. And I'm standing here on the platform of the Amsterdam train station. And I'm looking out onto the A River in the center of Amsterdam. I'm waiting for the Eurostar train which will take me directly from Amsterdam Central Station into London St. Pancras, which is great and it only takes um, a little over four hours. Going from Amsterdam and Rotterdam into Belgium to Antwerp and Brussels, then into France to Calais, where you enter the tunnel underneath the channel, and then you arrive in the UK and then you go straight into London to St. Pancras Station. Ah, lovely London. We had the most beautiful weather and this time I decided to be a bit of a tourist and go on the London Eye, which was fun because you can really get a good idea of what the city is like. But of course, that's not what I came for. Not really, anyway. Here you're looking at High Street Kensington. And here in this little side street, that's where I'm going. I'm going to the Kensington Dolls House Festival. So we're here in London and we're almost at the fair, which is right there, that building over there. And this is it, Kensington Town Hall, and this is where the Kensington Dolls House Festival is held every year. Just have to go up these steps, and there we are. This is the main hall. You can see it's already quite busy. And upstairs there's a little gallery area where you can just sit. And behind there there's a restaurant, and there's lots to see. And the first stall I went to was this one from Veronique Lux. And I love her little animals. And I did buy a few and I will show you that in my next vlog because otherwise this vlog is going to be far too long. But look at all these little lovely, lovely animals. So wonderful. I couldn't resist. And one of these little bird cages also. I won't show you which one I picked, but I took one. I bought one. And this is Tine Kreine's stall. And she is a bookbinder from the Netherlands. And here she explains the last book she made, which is Rembrandt's sketchbook. And she did a lot of research and she did do the I'm not sure what it's called. A special way of preparing the pages with a silver pen and it creates, um, the silver reacts with the prepared pages. Um, and this is the way she binds the books, just the way it's supposed to be. Just wonderful. And she does teach classes actually in Tuna. This summer she's teaching a, in Denmark, she's teaching a class and there's, I think there's still one or two spots available. And this is another Dutch miniaturist and she is a knitter and uh, embroiderer and she makes fantastic knitted sweaters like this one. And like this one cabinet on the right is completely embroidered and lace work she does very very fine lace work like this um, dress on the doll is a late 19th century lace in miniature of course it's going a little bit fast but this is um this is a man from india called rohit rohit's miniatures and he or his workshop makes the most fantastic, beautifully made uh, miniatures. Um, 
like this rickshaw, bicycle, wonderful, everything functions. It's really beautiful. And this absolutely gorgeous, um, what would you call it, side table. It's completely inlaid with bronze and uh, everything functions, of course. And there's a marble top. Stunning. And he also exhibited in the Pima Awards, which well, I will be showing you now. His workshop made this cabinet uh, another masterpiece, I would say. Uh, absolutely fabulous workmanship. And I'm not sure if he does all the work himself because he has a large workshop. But the price, look at the price. 43,900 and some pounds. And I thought it was 4,000 pounds. And then I heard a German couple next to me. And my friend tried to say to me, no, it's 43,000. And then I didn't believe her. And uh, then a German couple said something about it. And I was so surprised. But here's a few more... Um, Pima entries and um, well they were just absolutely wonderful. This one is Sir Walter Scott's study by Petworth Miniatures and sometimes my my the quality of my video is not very good because the lighting was so difficult. Here's a supper set on a Lazy Susan by Mike Sparrow in silver. And here's a knitted dress by Annalise de Kort, the one you saw earlier. And the dress depicts Operation Market Garden. Where the Allied forces tried to capture the bridge over the River Rhine in Arnhem in September 1944. Okay, and this one I really liked. It's by uh, Corneli Son Gallery, and it's called the Arnolfini Restoration. And if you know the, the painting, the real one by Jan van Eyck, it's called the Arnolfini Wedding or Arnolfini Portrait. And um, in the background there, in the middle, there is normally a convex mirror. And here, Nellie McKay, who creates these portraits, has taken down the mirror in the portrait and put it at the, at the bottom of the scene as if they're cleaning the mirror as well. I just thought it was so fun and clever. Um, I really, really like this piece. And I will talk some more about Cornelis on Gallery in my next vlog. And here's a little look at the late 18th century English country kitchen by Malvany and Rogers. It was inspired by childhood memories of maternal grandparents' Yorkshire dairy farm kitchen. 
and it's just wonderful as usual. Beautiful light shining through the bay window onto a table laid for a proper workman's tea. And the open cooking range is the forerunner to the later enclosed ranges, but it retains the old-fashioned cauldron and the chimney crane. I could look around this room for an hour and still see more things. There's beautiful crockery and there's dolls on the floor and little pegs to play with, I suppose. Um, but it was hard to go away because so many people wanted to see this room. I couldn't stay there for a long time and film everything. Another wonderful sideboard with beautiful porcelain was this one by Stokeseyware. And it's always a joy to see these beautiful plates. I wondered if I had another book, You could order one if you want. Of course. And of course, Tarbina's furniture always has a wonderful finish on it. And this one was brass and copper inlaid. And hand cast. Of course, the lovely Aurélie of Ons Dar Miniature was there. And these lovely wall lights were named after my friend Trace, Theresia. Beautiful lights. And here she is showing one of the chandeliers, which I really like, but they're big for my house. My house is not very big, but I really like these oriental. China, chinoiserie type and another one they're so gorgeous <laughs> 
And this one I think would look really nice in the small room in my second canal house. Uh, but again, I think it may be slightly too big. Well, I'm going to leave it here for now because this vlog is going to be really long and I still have some more footage. So on my next week's vlog, I will show you more of the Kensington Dolls House Festival and some of the things I bought myself. So I leave you here with some footage of the National Gallery and the wonderful fountain and hopefully I'll see you next week. Until next time! <laughs>